Greetings, Captains! This is your host, Brent Justice, and welcome to my channel, Just Gaming For Us. Today is a Star Trek Online news video. It's been quite a while since I've made one, but it's time to jump back into the game because it is now the winter event of 2019. So every year, and this is a, a tradition now, Star Trek Online has a winter event called Q's Winter Wonderland every uh, winter and it is time for this year's 2019's version uh, now this is pretty much the same event you've known from previous years however it's going to be able to be accessed in a different way now and how you go about getting your marks toward the featured ship that you get for free for the winter event is going to be a little bit different Plus, uh, Cryptic is able this year to roll the winter event at the same time for both PC and console. So they will be starting at the same dates. And that's new, so that's fun. So here we are on the main Star Trek Online webpage. And as you can see, Q's Winter Wonderland is the premier news item here. And that's pretty much the only important thing to talk about today. Uh, anything previous to that was about Black Friday sales or lock boxes, bonus mark weekends, these bonus weekends. There hasn't really been a whole lot of interesting Star Trek Online news until now. So that's why it's been quite a while since I've made a video. So today we're going to specifically talk about Q's Winter Wonderland. That's what this is all about today. So it says here, the seasonal favorite from years past is returning once more to Star Trek Online. Q proudly invites personnel of all ranks, allegiances, species, cosmological variances, and molecular stabilities, or lack thereof, to ring in the holiday season and visit his winter wonderland for fun, frivolity, and prizes. Participating in your choice of winter wonderland activities to work your way toward obtaining the fabulous new... Uh, participate in your choice of Winter Wonderland activities to work your way through obtaining the fabulous new Fakiri Ferang Dreadnought Carrier Tier 6. Complete details of the ship's capabilities will be obtained in a separate dev block, but there's a picture of it. So this is the featured ship you'll be working toward if you want that for free. So it is a uh, Fakiri Dreadnought Carrier. This year's festivities will be integrated into our recently released event interface as part of your mission journal. Now that this seasonal event has migrated to its new home, it has also undergone a significant update. Beginning this year, daily progress toward earning your new starship can be obtained by participating in any of the following activities. Fastest game on ice, Klingon ice fishing, tides of ice, the fast and the flurious, cones of conduct, and the Krampiri. Now this is new. So this is the new event interface that's integrated in your mission journal. And you're going to access now the Winter Wonderland through that and keep track of everything through that. So that's new. So how you interact with the, the Winter Wonderland to get in there and see the rewards you've collected and all that uh, toward your ship is all going to be in that event interface. Also what's new here is that we don't just have to run one thing to get your marks. So in previous Winter Wonderlands, you just had to play the fastest game on ice. It was that um, run that you had to do on the ice and it was slippery and you had to do it in time before the NPC and then you would get your daily marks and you would be done for the day. You'd wait 20 hours and you'd do it again. So you do it once a day to earn your marks toward the ship. Well, now you're going to get a choice all of these things will go toward obtaining your ship. Fastest game on ice, which was the previous one. Uh, Klingon ice fishing will now go toward that. That's where you uh, put your hand into ice and smash it and catch fish uh, and put it in the big bucket. You got tides of ice. You got the fast and the flurious. Cones of conduct. Maybe more people will play that now. Uh, since uh, this actually goes toward that in the Krampiri thing. So what this means is you now have more options and choices to get your marks instead of just having to do the one thing and that was all you could do. Now you can do these various things. So let's say you don't like fastest game on ice, but you do like the Klingon ice fishing. Well, there, go do that. 
or maybe you want to do a combination of things. And I imagine that there will be a daily fulfillment, you know, a daily requirement, like you will hit a max that you can do for that day. So it's not like you're going to be able to grind all these in one day and get your ship. It's probably going to be capped to a certain level. So you do a certain amount of them and you meet your daily requirement cap. And then that's all you can do for the day. Now you can continue to play those. It, it just won't go toward the ship anymore until, you know, the 20 hour cooldown. All right. So the first completion of any of the above activities will fulfill. Oh, says it right there. So the first completion of the activity will fulfill your daily requirements. So really just doing it once, doing one of these once will fulfill the daily requirement. But at least you still have the option of what you want to do instead of having to be locked into just one thing. Allowing you to pick and choose how you earn your way to a new starship. Play whichever activity you, activity you enjoy most or change it up each day for greater variety. The event system will also offer instant and immediate access to visit the Winter Wonderland from most non-combat maps in the game simply by pressing the Transwarp button on the event interface. So now you don't have to talk to Q anymore. You can just go to the event interface, hit Transwarp, and go there from wherever you are. It just gives you a little bit easier access to it. Each of the above activities, as well as others, you can participate in during the winter event will, st will still reward you with various holiday ornaments, which can be used in different denominations to purchase yourself a variety of rewards from years past, as well of an, as a number of new additions that will arrive with the relaunch of the event this year. Black Nanopulse Weaponry. These Plasma Edge melee weapons will enjoy two new variants, mirroring the unique dark material previously only found on the Crampiri's weaponry. Get your hands on a Black Nanopulse Batleth or Black Nanopulse Lirpa and, re and re revel in the feeling of wielding raw plasma in the palm of your hands. The, we will have some cold-themed bridge officer training manuals. The inventive denizens of Q's Pocket Dimension have created three ranks each of brand new engineering, science, and tactical bridge officer abilities. Each of these starship abilities utilize the latest in absolute, ze absolute zero temperature generation and endothermic particle physics to create de uh, deleterious effects based on cold damage. So engineering has let it go. Apply a focused endothermic deterioration at the enemy's hull, causing absolute zero temperatures that crystallize and fracture some delicate components. The enemy suffers cold damage over time and is afflicted with a damage-resistant rating debuff that grows in potential over the debuff's duration. For science, you've got it's very cold in space. Create an area of absolute zero temperatures interfering with mobility and causing deleterious effects uh, freezing damage to enemies within within the massive six kilometer diameter hazard all foes suffer periodic cold damage and are slowed tactical has best served cold cause a sympathetic reaction within the foes vessel which interacts with incoming energy damage each time they are damaged they will take an additional amount of cold damage to their hull Damage below a certain threshold does not trigger this effect, and the amount of cold damage has a maximum amount that can be that may be applied. So cold damage from your starship, basically. We've got Winter Wonderland Weaponry. Ingenious new methods of defending the gingerbread colony and defeating beasts such as the menacing snow lord are being made available for you. We've got Improvise. These are hand-thrown impaling devices, and they are approved from extra snowman decorations found around the Winter Wonderland. Surprisingly sharp for vegetables. So I guess we get to throw carrots at people. When a snowman comes along, you must whip it. This candy-licious variant of the traditional Ferengi energy whip will put those snow monsters in its place. So these, of course, are weapons to be used in the winter event only. They don't work outside the winter event. But this is in the winter event, so you can earn those ornaments and so forth. Just more weapons to play with in the event. We got some sweaters, and I gotta say, I like these a lot. I like the purple one, and I like the orange one. I'm on board with that. As, as made popular in previous years, we present an entire new line of three additional stylish and not at all eye-shattering styles to choose from. So, it's just some sweaters to wear during the event. A Fakiri Vanity Shield. Flaunt your visual acumen by bathing your starship in the trademark wood and steel appearance of the two most recent winter event starships. 
This visual option may be applied to any starship by equipping this item in your visual slot. Okay, I like this. I'm going to pick up the vanity shield because I love having uh, those kind of vanity shields where you can change your ship appearance and make it look unique. So I could try this out on several ships and see what it looks like. So I'm going to pick that up. But that's a new thing here. We can get the um, Fakiria look it is very unique and I like it. it. Looks like we're doing some stuff with Breen for a change. It's been a long time since we've messed with Breen. We can afford we can of course have a Breen tactical officer in the game. This was a very, very early addition in the game. Uh, at the very beginning of the game, uh, you would play a mission in the in a uh, Deferi space. And you would get a uh, Tran. He was a defector from the Breen, and basically you got Tran from one of the missions, and and he was he would be a tactical officer. These were also could be bought on the exchange, as well. And um, I, don't, I don't know if they still are or not. They may be, but uh, having a Breen bridge officer is a is a thing. So it looks like we're finally going to get some costume changes. That was the one problem with the uh, Tran. Is that you could not change his costume he was always going to look like he was going to look um, but it looks here the Breen visitors to Q's Winter Wonderland have finally decided to allow outsiders to obtain their fashionable adaption suits for use oh so we get to use the Breen uniforms on characters now that's cool this outfit uh, this outfit collection includes multiple variants of a huge assortment of costume options all of which are usable mix and match style with many existing uniforms and can be used by all factions. Yes. Now you too can look the part of the coolest kids in the quadrant. I love this because I do love the Breen outfit. So this is not us being able to customize Tran. This is us being able to take the Breen out outfits and use it on any faction and any character. And I love this option. It's about time we got some usable Breen gear because I love the look of the Breen gear. The costume collection will be available for purchase in both the Winter Event Store and the Low Buy Crystal Store starting with the launch of the Winter Event. And remember, if you find yourself in need of just a few more holiday ornaments in order to purchase the item, the Low Buy Crystal Consortium is also happy to provide the option to purchase holiday ornament bundles for just five Low Buy Crystals apiece. This premium chilling ensemble will only be available for a limited time. When Q's Winter Wonderland retires later this year, the costume will be removed from the store, but will remain in the Low Buy Crystal Store indefinitely. So if you wish to purchase it using Holiday Ornaments Act now. So basically, they're going to keep the costumes in the Low Buy Store forever. So you can always buy them with Low Buy in the future. But this is your one, one chance to buy them with ornaments instead of Low Buy. So that just means completing winter events to get the ornaments to then buy the uh, suit so just a different way to buy it basically for a limited time Q's Winter Wonderland will be available from December 3rd which is like now to January 2nd so that's all we have until January 2nd it's only one month this year that's pretty short usually they go a little longer than that so this is short this event will run simultaneously across all platforms PC and console at the same time so that's cool too so there you go. That's all about the Winter Wonderland. Um, the big things here to take away is that you will now be accessing the Winter Wonderland from the event, the new event tab they created, and tracking your mark and progress toward the ship through that event tab. Um, the ship that we will be getting is a Farang Dreadnought Carrier, which is a Fakiri ship. And now how you obtain that ship is your choice. You can play one of any of these uh, missions right here. Uh, to, f to fulfill your daily requirement. You just do it once a day. Every 20 hours is the cooldown. But you have a choice now of what you want to play. So that should make it a little more appealing to get the ship instead of, like if you just didn't like Fastest Game on Ice, you know, or you weren't very good at it. Now you have a choice. Now you can do something different. And the other really notable thing, I mean, just there's a, some new stuff here. Um, I, but the, these, these costumes, I really like these costumes. Of course, they'll be in the low buy store anyway, but I like that addition. And that's really about it for the Winter Wonderland. Um, not extremely exciting because this is a carryover again from year to year. And it doesn't seem like they're making any big sweeping changes here. Just 
some nice improvements, some nice updates, but I wouldn't call it uh, a revolutionary change in the Wonderland, just pretty much an evolutionary change. I'm waiting for one day that they come do a big refresh on it. Um, it's getting a bit old in the tooth. They need to um, they need to really go through the whole Wonderland and you know update it. Give us some new visuals, update the map, uh, update the, um, the events, and and you know just uh, kind of give it a different give it a facelift. It needs a facelift really bad. Um, still waiting on that. But uh, for right now, pretty much the same old, same old. Winter event, you get some new gear, you get a new ship. How you access it and get that ship now are slightly different. And that's pretty much it. And uh, it's only going to be for one month. So get in and get it done while you can, if you are interested in that. Now when the uh, specs for the ship come out, I'll make another video and we'll go over all the specs on the ship so that you are aware of what the ship has if you're interested in it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I will make a video on the Winter Wonderland when it comes out. I will uh, go in the game and uh, do my usual introduction where I show you how to get to it and access it, how the new event tab looks, how we track the uh, marks and everything, and then I will do an event to show you how you earn the marks toward the ship, and you know we'll look at all the other events around. But if you search my YouTube channel for past year's winter events, the events are the same. So they're going to be played exactly the same, so that won't be new. But I'm going to make a video on it anyway so that y'all are aware of the changes in this year's winter event. And that's pretty much it for what we have today. That's all the Star Trek Online news. So the next video will be uh, me in the winter event going through and taking a look at it. Well... Thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore Justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent Justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.